Hello, my name is Declan Healy and I'm a test engineer working for Maycom Technology Solutions. Today I'm going to demonstrate one of Maycom's FTTX amplifiers and I'm going to show you how to measure RF output power and CSO CTB. Maycom currently offers two FTTX amplifiers. These are the MAAM-010333 and the MAAM-008863. For further information, please look at the website www.makeumtech.com Before any measurement can begin, the amplitude of each analog video carrier is leveled to a specific value using a power meter. However, the power meter sensor must be calibrated first so that the power measured will be accurate. The NTSC analog video carriers are generated using a multi-channel generator that connects to a 1550 nm laser transmitter. The optical output power from this transmitter is then connected to an optical attenuator which controls the optical power level that is applied to the DUT. The ammeter is used to measure the photodiode's current and the output of the DUT is connected directly to the spectrum analyzer. Once the power sensor is calibrated, it is disconnected from the power meter and connected to the RF cable coming from the multi-channel generator. The first software screen sets the frequency plan to 79 analog channels, ranging in frequency from 55.25 MHz to 547.25 MHz. The carrier leveling screen allows the user to select the number of channels that will be leveled. The power selected here was for input flat leveling of plus 18 dBmV. The 50 ohm power meter measures minus 25.05 dBm per channel when the MLP loss is taken into account. Leveling 79 channels takes approximately one minute and when completed, the power sensor can be disconnected from the RF cable coming from the multi-channel generator. An MLP is then connected to the RF input of the laser transmitter. and the RF cable coming from the multi-channel generator is then connected to this. The RF power level per channel at the input to the laser transmitter is plus 18 dBmV in 75 ohms, which is the optimum drive level for this model of laser transmitter. The optical output power level from the laser transmitter is plus 7 dBm, typically, and is not adjustable. Therefore, the laser transmitter output is connected to an optical attenuator which allows the optical power into the DUT to be controlled. The DUT SC APC photodiode connector is attached to the fiber optic cable coming from the optical attenuator. The DUT RF output is connected to the spectrum analyzer with an MLP and RF cable. The DC bias for the DUT and photodiode is applied to the PCB with a ribbon cable. The PSU output is then turned on and the optical attenuator output is enabled. The optical power applied to the DUT is controlled by changing the optical attenuator. As the optical power is changed, the RF power measured on the spectrum analyzer also changes. There is a 2 to 1 relationship between RF power and optical power. The optical power is adjusted until the target RF output power is achieved. RF power measured in dBmV in 75 ohms can be converted to power in dBm by subtracting the constant of 
the loss between the DUT output and spectrum analyzer is approximately 6 dB and is due to MLP and RF cable loss. The test setup for CSO CTB is very similar to the RF output power setup, except that a band pass filter selector is included in the measurement. These filters are positioned after the DUT and are used to protect the front end of the spectrum analyzer from being overdriven by the composite power of all the channels. The filter selector also has amplifiers that will remove the dynamic range of the measurement. As the channels were already leveled and the RF output power was set by changing the optical power, then the measurement is ready to be made. Information about the test conditions and the DUT can be entered on this screen. The parameters to be measured such as CSO, CTB can be selected on this screen and the measurement started. The optical power applied to the photodiode can be measured with an optical power meter. The value shown here is approximately minus 8 dBm when the RF output power at the DUT was set to plus 20 dBmV in 75 ohms per channel. The device that was measured was an MAAM-010333. I've now shown you how to make an accurate RF output power and CSO CTB measurement on an FTT exemplifier. Thank you for watching our video and for further information, please visit our website www.makeomtech.com or contact one of our applications engineers. Thank you.